Hello and welcome to 3.52 in the morning on January 10th, 2013. I am bored and can't sleep because I was playing Amnesia and then the water part happened and it was completely dark. It's not dark in here anymore, obviously. Well, I had the space heater on, but still, it's like moving back and forth, it's creating some weird creepy light. And my dog just comes bursting into the door like like through the door into my room and then I shit myself not literally but I shit myself and I stopped playing the game then I started reading uh, so, uh, story on no sleep on reddit about like some dude in orange I don't know it won uh, the reddit post for October so I was like I'm curious about this let me let me read this and that creeped me out and then something ran down my fucking hallway I'm assuming it's a mouse because we get those in the winter Welcome to New York. So that thing is currently like on my side of the room doing its mousy things. It better not be fucking up my fabric because I will flip shit. Um, and I was watching Jenna Mar Jenna Marbles. Well, I was gonna say Jenna Marvel. <laughs> oh, she does like Spider Man, so it's not too much stretching from the truth. My fucking bangs are being stupid as fuck right now. That's why sometimes I hate having them, but I like having them because it makes my face look better. Anyway, uh, and she was talking about, and she mentioned, um, Les Miserables and, uh, how people like to sing along during, you know, like when you go to a musical or a play or whatever, people like to sing along. Now, I sing along in my fucking head, so, <laughs> but what pisses me off is... Hello, New York accent. What pisses me the fuck off is that when you go to a fucking movie theater and you have those assholes like in front of you or like next to you or you go to the movie with someone and that motherfucker is like this on their phone the entire fucking time. What's the point of paying thirteen fifty for a fucking movie if you're going to sit down and be on your goddamn phone the for an hour and a half or two, two and a half hours if you're going to see Les Miserables? Like, you can live without Facebook. You can live without Instagram. You can live without text messaging. You can live without that fucking phone call from your mom asking you for to bring fucking ho milk home after you on your way home. You you can live without you know hey your dog shit it on your bed you know for a fucking hour and a half. Sometimes an hour and four minutes. Sometimes the movies are fifty five minutes long. You need to get the fuck off your phone. Get the fuck off your technology. Get off your fucking iPhone. Off your Galaxy X three S three or whatatever. Get off of your fucking you know. PC piece of shit, crack screen, LG phone from Metro piece of shit, get off your fucking phone. Seriously, it's a movie theater. Enjoy the fucking movie. And if you don't like the movie, get fucking leave. You know, I paid to fucking be here and enjoy this fucking movie. I didn't pay to sit next to some douchebag or behind some fucking cunt with her fucking phone. Be like, hee hee hee, I'm on Facebook. Hey, look, I'm on Twitter. Shut up. It's fucking stupid. And it's annoying. And it fucking disrupts everybody who's trying to enjoy the fucking movie. And Jesus Christ, that just really wound me. <laughs> but yeah, I personally think it's fucking rude. It's fucking annoying. If you don't fucking like it, wait till the DVD comes out and you watch that shit in your own comfort. Oh, goddamn home where you could be on fucking Instagram and Facebook all the fucking time. It's fucking bullshit. Now. Adding to that. Uh, when I went to go see Les Mis Rum, um, a friend of mine took me out, and, um, the quote of the night was serious, was boring. So, I'm assuming that this person just doesn't want to do anything. Like, you know, just, I don't understand that line. Like, I've heard it from a couple of people in the past couple of months. Serious is boring, and it's like, if you're not serious about something in your life, then what the fuck are you doing with yourself? You're just a waste of space, you know, working a job that you probably don't even want to work at because you're not serious about it, or, you know, you don't want to be in a relationship because you're not serious about it, or, like, you don't want to commit to anything because it's too serious. I mean, you have to commit to something in your, in your lifetime, whether it's to yourself, your job, uh, or whatever situation that you have. And personally, I think that that's the most fucking, like, bullshit excuse for not doing something. Oh, serious is boring. Suck my fucking dick and give me a fucking quarter, really? In the words of Jenna Marbles, you need to, you need to pipe the fuck down. Because that's just fucking stupid to me. And, um, another, I, I was talking to, uh, one, one, one of the, someone that I wanted to work with on my Predator, um, costume with 
um, like didn't want to commit to the project. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And then like, you know, it, it turned into one of those things where, you know, it was, you settle on a price for something and you just never hear from the person when you have the money in hand. So fuck that. I bought fabric and like the shit for my live wire costume. Like I'm not going to wait for nobody. And, um, another friend of mine brought up uh, a really interesting topic that I wanted to talk about. And that was people playing victim to their situations. And I think that any situation is livable, you know, whether you're in a loveless marriage and you're in it for the kids or, you know, you're having problems with your girlfriend or your insignificant other or, you know, you're that forever alone guy or girl. Trust me, I'm up there with you guys. Forever alone. Fuck it. People suck. Um, I think that if you remain a victim to your, to, if you make yourself a victim to your situation, um, you're not being fair to yourself. What the fuck is up with my hair right now? Jesus, I'm gonna brush this. That didn't help. But if you remain victim to your situation, you're just creating a oh, dry mouth for no reason. You're just remaining, you're, you're just like holding yourself back from like the greater things that you can do and honestly I think that's pretty sad that people do that like I did it for a long time you know I moved to Florida I was a victim to that situation I played victim to that situation then I came back to New York got a job I liked though I liked getting a regular paycheck twice a month but you know I wasn't gonna play victim to you know, the bullshit that was going on at my workplace. So I ultimately quit. Do I regret it? Kind of, because I need, I need that money. But at the end of the day, you know, there's other ways that, you know, one can have them, you know, fix themselves to live and stuff like that. And I'm doing pretty good. Um, but I do want to say, not mentioning names, if you remember, if you... Remain victim to a certain situation, whatever the situation is, and you don't get yourself out of it and you just keep living in a negative light, you're not going to move on. And if you do, it's just not going to mean anything. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, it's not going to help you grow, but if you have a negative outlook on certain things, then you're just not going to progress in what you can progress in. So, I just needed to say that. But, yeah. Get the fuck off your Facebooks when you're at the movie theater. You're fuck And if you're cheating on your girlfriend and she's texting you while you're at the movie theater, just say, I'm at the movie theater. Shut up, bitch. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. Um, no, I don't condone cheating. Don't cheat on your girlfriend. That's not nice. But, um, another thing that drives me crazy is persistent people. Uh, you know, that guy that is always on your asshole about either, um, hanging out or getting something done or, like, that's just, like, constantly in your face about something. Like, you know, you know, like, that teacher that's, like, on your shit about that book report that's due, like, two days from now and you already have it done but she won't let you hand it in because it's not the due date yet? And she's like, are you done with the book report? 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 And it's like, why, bro? Like, get the fuck off my dick. Or, like, that person that's just, like... I'm going to use an example, actually. This happened, like, three years ago when I actually started traveling to conventions and shit. And one of my friends was like, oh, did you get that cosplay done yet? Did you get that cosplay done yet? Is the costume done? 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 And it's like, the costume will be done when it's fucking done. Get the fuck off my dick. If it's not there at the convention, you know, like, you can wait till the fucking convention. You don't have to see every fucking pro process and progress of the fucking costume. Calm your shit. It's not even yours. So, that drives me crazy. Or, like, people who don't get the fucking hint, and it drives me, that also drives me fucking crazy. Like, I don't like being that guy that's just, like, get the fuck out of my face, because the moment that comes out of my mouth, I just go into, like, this huge rant, and I have a short fuse. It's just, like, 
I think of my head as like one of those like TNT bombs that you will see in the Acme. Like I think my fuse is like that long. So the moment you spark that shit and it goes down to here, it's just like. <laughs> and if you survive me telling you off, kudos to you because not many have. My hair is really bothering me. It's like driving me crazy. I'm just gonna do this the entire time. So as I'm grooming myself, um, yeah. Get the fuck off your Facebooks. Seriously. Like, yeah, I know I live on mine, and it's pretty much a bad distraction from everything that I pretty much have to do and get done, but at the end of the day, you need to get the fuck off that shit, because if you're in a movie theater, or, you know what? I saw this fucking picture, and I actually did it to a group of friends of mine, and, uh, you know, let's say, like, you and your friends go out to eat and shit, I suggest everyone put, you, I suggest next time you go, like, let's say you go out to eat, blam, going up, you know what, it's four o'clock in the morning, this is why, so, next time you go out to eat, make everyone put their phones in the middle of the table, the first person who fucking looks at their phone while you guys are eating and trying to have a conversation, like, civilized, sociable fucking people, that person pays the fucking bill, fuck that noise. All right. If I'm in the middle of a fucking conversation, don't pull out your fucking phone and start typing away because that's fucking rude. It's rude. It's fucking rude. And your parents fucking taught you better, hopefully. And I think this whole dependency on fucking cell phones thing is fucking ridiculous because now I can't even fucking like have a intellectual conversation with someone without them saying, oh, what's your Facebook? What if I don't have Facebook? What if I don't want to give you my Facebook? What if my Facebook got deleted two days ago? Or what's your Twitter? What the fuck you want to know my Twitter for? Why am I going to talk to you on Twitter? I don't talk to people on Twitter. I just post random shit because I feel like it. You know, I think the last, I think like two days ago, I posted about fucking, uh, after that of drinking and the fucking crazy farts you get after, you know, you drink a lot of Jaeger or whiskey farts. That, those are always not fun to smell. But, you know, I think it's ridiculous that people rely on technology so much. It's like whatever, like, you know, like online dating. It's like you can't just go outside of your fucking house and, like, say hi to someone. Or the person gets creeped out, obviously they're socially inept and you need to go find some other bitch to get your dick wet with. But, like, people need to understand that it's not just about fucking, you know, meeting someone online because that person could be a fucking mass murderer or, like, some kind of serial killer. I mean, look at the day and age we're fucking living in. Fucking people shooting up schools and movie theaters and shit. Fuck that shit. Like, I'm, you honestly think I'm gonna meet and date you because you're I met you on the internet? Fuck that shit, motherfucker. I just think it's fucking stupid and people need to get the fuck off their phones. It's not that serious. It's a piece of fucking technology. This legit cost me 50 bucks. Do I care about it? Obviously not. Look at that screen. Look at that screen. And you can see, oh, 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 reflections. Woo. But yeah. Get the fuck off your phone. Live like the sociable animals that we fucking are. And honestly, if I see one more fucking person in a movie theater on their fucking phone during the middle of an amazing movie, I'm going to throw my fucking soda that I paid five fifty for on their fucking head and hope that their fucking phone gets fucked up. And if they want to swing at me, come at me, bro, because I think it's fucking ridiculous that you can't sit through a fucking movie without looking at your fucking phone or checking your fucking Facebook. Your fucking Facebook is going to be there. Your phone is going to be there. Your text messages are going to fucking be there. Your missed call list is going to fucking be there. Your, in your Instagram is going to be there. Your fucking Twitter is going to be there. And whatever other fucking shit that people are looking at, your okay stupid is going to be there. All right? The shit that you're trying to bone that probably has like 15 pictures of her fucking tits on okay stupid is still going to be there. If you don't answer your fucking, if you don't answer her fucking fucking messages, she's probably gonna go on to the next dude who looks at her tits for 15 fucking photos, alright, grow the fuck up, it's ridiculous, and the fact that you're depend, you're codependent on a fucking phone versus actual social interaction or trying to enjoy something like a play or a movie is fucking sad, get the fuck off your phone, they tell you to turn off your phone for a reason, don't put that shit on silent, oh, I feel bad for the next person I go to a movie to, it's gonna be the end, you know what? but yeah, that's all I have to say, get the fuck off your phones, bye.